Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. Last trip of the year down here. It's New Year's Eve. Amazingly, this shoreline is not completely frozen. I'm shocked because it's been really cold lately and this giant storm we had over Christmas. I mean, it was sub-zero temperatures and the wind was insane. I'm thinking uh, my side of the lake here in Wisconsin got spared because the wind was mostly out of the west. So over there in Michigan, I have a feeling it's a completely different world. But I just uh, saw this rock and see the size of it. Very cool. I might take this. Throw it in my backpack on the way back. That's a good garden rock. This almost looks like pudding stone in there. I'm not sure. All right. Taking a little walk here. Found a few pieces of glass, nothing crazy. So, we'll be back. Okay, here's a piece that's kind of worth recording. It's all right. Oh. Um, no, I thought that might be a uberlite. I would be surprised. There's a lot of big rocks here. They're not frozen. Yeah, there's more shoves down this way. So, oh, I'm gonna go just a little bit further here and we got a ways to head back, so. All right. Well, kind of slim pickings here, but I'm amazed I just saw this. Nice piece of amber. There's actually a lot of broken zebra mussel shells, and sometimes they look like glass, especially this time of year. Oh, that's a feather. <laughs> it's about three o'clock, so the sun is uh, not on my side right now, literally. It's pretty hard on the eyes. Sydney or something. All right. I'll be back. Oh, hey, everybody. Well, I'm here on the last day of the year, New Year's Eve 2022, and I'm going to show off some of the things that I found today with my son's help out at Lake Michigan and uh, in Northeast Wisconsin here. So um, first off, there's this thing <laughs> that I brought home. It's one of the biggest rocks of the year for me to bring home. And initially I thought, oh, I'm like, wow, that could be like a pudding stone in there, or even possibly a Uperlite. No, there's no glowing bits to this thing. It, uh, I think essentially it's just a big hunk of granite, which is, it's super pretty. So there it is. It's going to go out in my garden. Secondly, um, yes, I got the Trooper Bear. I had it at the concert when uh, I saw Iron Maiden a few months ago and it was really good. It's made by Robinson's Brewery in the UK, in England. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this here in a little bit as well. And also to explain my uh, get up here, every New Year's I wear this antique coat that was my grandma's because she always wore it on New Year's along with one of her old Kangol hats. Um, just keeping with tradition, I think it's fun and I love, I miss my grandma. She 
was a lady that liked to have a lot of fun and she really enjoyed the holidays and stuff. So. All right, I'll be back to show you my finds here. All right, here is the Omaralek or Omar, as they're typically called, that I found yesterday on New Year's Eve. Um, this is considered a glacial erratic rock, as if, or as in, the ice from a glacier transported it a long ways away from where it originated, which the Omars were initially, um, they're thought to be from Hudson Bay, Canada. So this one's weird because <clears throat> the concretion, actually, it hasn't quite eroded away yet. And I have a little tiny baby one in there that is the same thing but uh these are the rest of mine as you can see there's the really big one that came from the bay of green bay actually um but the majority of them i found over here on the wisconsin shores of lake michigan so yeah got another weird one to add to the collection Here's the last few finds of the year for me. I'm going to go through this really quickly. Um, the Favocites honeycomb coral. It's an extinct species of coral that's found in the Great Lakes region up here. Nice, two nice specimens of it. You can see the structure. Oh, this awesome, the skeletal remains and the fossilized remains, technically, of what was once an animal. Some other coral bits and remnants. Kind of fun. Some quartz. This is a unikite. Piece of one. Ah, some jasper. Red jasper. One of my favorites. And I guess I'm just going to go... Oh, wait. Can't forget this. It's a piece of carnelian, I believe. This is found very commonly in the Lake Superior agates. And actually, I haven't looked at this under... My jeweler's loop, there might be some banding in this thing. I'm not sure, but when it's dry, even wet, it's super waxy. And that's how I know that it is carnelian, which uh, I believe is volcanic in origin. So the beach glass, my video, my camera rather quit on me because it was kind of cold out there at the beach yesterday when I found, well, not that one, but these two bigger pieces were just embedded in the sand up on the beach in the higher side. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm amazed I saw them. It, it was start, it was like mm, quarter to four. And sunset, it was 419, I believe. So maybe it just stuck out more to me because I walked past these like three times and didn't see them until about then. They kind of glow, the beach glass. Well, it's... Depends on the angle of the sun. A nice piece of amber. Just a few pieces of milk glass there. And some other bits that I can just add to my ridiculously large amount of beach glass that I've collected in the past three plus years. <laughs> and yes, I am doing a lot of projects with that as well as these things. The old... Uh, the pop tabs or beer tabs, whatever. Let me find out there. So, all right. Happy New Year, everyone. And I want to say again, and I'll never stop saying this. Thanks to everybody who watches any of my videos, whether you subscribe to me or not. It, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just happy to share this fun hobby of exploring the outdoors. And I'm looking forward to this coming year because I have a lot of plans. And uh, I can't wait to go bottle digging again and all of that and like exploring the rivers and creeks and especially walking my beaches, you know. So, all right. 
I will see you guys soon. Good night.